Thank you for being with us. Um, if you can start a little bit by telling me about your work, uh, so the work that's been uh, exhibited at uh, Visa. Uh, yes, uh, this work I'm showing in Visa uh, this year was the result of my work probably a year and a half in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. You know what uh, it's happening in Afghanistan, the most of report in magazine, in the media, TV, whatever it is, they are uh, mostly concentrated on the military side of yeah. Afghanistan and uh, I think it's very important to show the reality of this country, not through the military embedded, mm -hmm. but more about the real situation in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And that was my purpose, and I traveled to north, east, west, south, in center of Afghanistan last year, yeah. to, to see what is going on in the country. And what is happening right now is a lot of people, they are displaced, mm -hmm. uh, internally displaced, uh, and returnees, refugees, uh, which means all of them, uh, this Afghan population is a uh, in uh, uh, motion. Um, they are moving inside of Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and especially they are coming uh, close to the big cities like uh, Kabul, Herat, mm -hmm. Mazar, and Kandahar, uh, where their um, origin villages there they don't have uh, enough security, uh, job opportunity, whatever. It's a very different uh, drought. It's a yeah. very different uh, problems, and um, those people they are. Mm, stuck in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. without any ho help uh, or uh, and that was the main uh, uh, subject I, I want to show in Afghanistan mm -hmm. but it's, of course uh, I didn't really want to specific one side of but it's more about what is going in Afghanistan generally talking mm -hmm. and if we we are we can't see the big picture like this, what is happening yeah. in Afghanistan, we're never going to resolve this country. Yeah. Afghanistan doesn't need uh, soldiers, mm -hmm. they need uh, real uh, help. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I'm working in Afghanistan since 2002 mm -hmm. almost. Yeah. yeah. And first, the beginning, I was working on the hope of Afghanistan. Everybody was interested to go to run on the front line, but for me, the the most important thing was the hope of this country. Yeah. And you can see the result, uh, Afghan people, they are um, uh, uh, the most exiled people in, in the planet. Mm -hmm. Seven million people. And uh, since 2002 to 2005, five million people uh, came back, uh, went back to Afghanistan. And we didn't have any really program or um, to help them to resettle, and this is the result of all this mismanagement of the Afghanistan. Yeah. And today we try to fight uh, Taliban in, inside of a small villages in Afghanistan, but I think it's a big mistake because the source of this problem came from outside. And it took probably eight years to um, to the military, the international community uh, to understand that. It was so easy from the beginning. And I don't like too much numbers, but I can show you what, how was it a mistake. <coughs> in 2002, uh, the world promised we're gonna give to Afghanistan five or six billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And how you can imagine to fix a country was destroyed for 30 years. How you fix it and five million dollars for 30 million people. And today, eight years later, we can see the same number. American army spent uh, $167 billion in Afghanistan. Uh, and look at the result. Mm -hmm. and, and it's uh, much worse than in 2001. And uh, this is... The history of Afghanistan doesn't start in 2001. The most of the people forgot Afghanistan is in war since 30 years, was invaded by Russia. Uh, where I had to leave uh, from my country uh, yeah. at that time. And, um, and then the Russian withdraw their force uh, and the international community were using the Afghan people uh, against the Russian. And they sent for billion of dollar uh, arm in Afghanistan and weapon. And then on 89, uh, when the Russian withdraw, the they said, oh, this is now is your problem, it's not our problem, uh, fix it. But how you can imagine to, uh, for Afghan, the Afghan people couldn't 
resolve this, this situation because it was so much interference from outside and uh, so much big unrest around mm -hmm. this country. And then the Talib uh, civil war, and then the Taliban take over. Taliban was somehow the creation of CIA in Afghanistan, yeah. and um, and then we had to go back in 2001 to fix the problem. We didn't fix it before, yeah. and now we. I'm uh, I'm against uh, military operation anywhere in the world, but unfortunately, Afghanistan right now. We cannot withdraw the forces because if the Taliban take over, it's gonna. We have to go back in this country in five years, not with uh, 50,000 soldiers, maybe for uh, 500,000 soldiers. Who's gonna pay that? Who's gonna do that? Yeah. We get stuck in Afghanistan. We have to find a solution. We have to shift our point of view uh, how to fix this country. Yeah, I think this is all my thinking. <laughs> um, um. Do you think like the, uh, the Iraq war, for example, uh, diverted the attention from, from the international community uh, from uh, Afghanistan? And do you find hope in the fact that now they seem to realize they made a mistake and coming back to Afghanistan, they talk about the surge uh, that work in Iraq and they're trying to do the same thing in Afghanistan? Do you see any? No, I, um, I'm, <coughs> I'm happy we shifted uh, from uh, Iraq to Afghanistan, but... Mm -hmm. <coughs> The only things I'm worried is if it's, uh, I'm afraid it's too late. Mm -hmm. We should have done this five years ago, yeah. not now. And uh, what does it mean shifting right now? Mm -hmm. Sending more soldiers? Probably is not the solution. Trying to help the Afghan people? I don't hear it, hear it too much. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I hope we can find a solution, but uh, I'm not the person it's a question of billion dollars. <laughs>